going on guys in this video I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak the newly released iOS 4.0 that was released on Monday of this week the tool that is was released to jailbreak it is called Ponage tool um, this video specifically is going to be for Mac only I will have a video for Windows coming soon but this is going to be the guide guys so first off I'm getting this article from redmondpie.com I'm going to explain it in my own thoughts, but this is also a written guide if you guys want it. The link will be in the description to this um, to this website. As you can see, jailbroken. So, first off, if you haven't already, you probably already have because you upgraded to iOS 4. That's why you're watching this video. You're going to want to download and install the latest version of iTunes. Again, all the links to these, uh, to these programs are going to be in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Secondly, you're going to want to start iTunes and sync your iPhone with your PC or Mac in this case so that it backs up all your important data including settings, apps, music, contacts, and photos. So basically just back up your device in iTunes on your Mac. Thirdly, download Ponage Tool 4.0. The one that's, that is actually updated, they have actually updated this, is Ponage Tool 4.01. The link will be in the description for you to download. And you're also going to want to download the original iOS 4 for your device, which is going to be given in the links below as well in the description. Um, also, guys, just to let you know that this will only this is only supported on the 3GS, iPod Touch 2G, and iPhone 3G. If you have any other device, it is not supported yet, so check back. Just subscribe, and I will have future videos on how to actually do this for your device when it comes out. Unfortunately, also, I cannot show you a real demo because I have the iPod Touch 3G, so it's not supported yet. I will show you when it comes out, though. So subscribe, and you'll see the future video. So once you've downloaded and installed the latest version of iTunes and backed up your device, as well as downloaded the Ponage tool and the original iOS 4, open up Ponage tool and select your device. So I'll go ahead and open it up. And this is the screen that you're going to be greeted with, guys. As you can see, it looks exactly the same as in the article. And it says select your device. So say I had, if I had an iPhone 3GS, you click that and then you hit next. You do the same for iPod Touch 2G and you hit next. And this is where I can't actually show you a live demo because I have the 3G uh, iPod. But once you select your device, it says Ponage Tool will automatically detect the firmware and you'll select it. So just click the firmware as you can see in the picture and hit next. Also, click on No. When Ponage Tool asks you, do you have an iPhone contract that you would activate normally through iTunes? Just click No. Clicking on Yes will update your baseband. So, only, actually, no. Don't automatically click No. Just click No if you are not on an official carrier like AT&T. If you are on AT&T, click Yes. That's only for iPhone. If you're on iPod, you don't have to worry about it. Step 7. Ponage tool will now create the IPSW file, which is the restore file. It's basically creating your jailbroken firmware. All you have to do is sit back and wait for it to finish. And finally, you will see this I has success screen, and that will confirm that it's completed. Just click next. Once it has completed, you'll actually have to restore your device to that firmware. So look for the firmware that you have made using Ponage tool and open iTunes and plug in your device. Once your device is connected, you're going to want to hold the option key and click restore and you're going to want to find the location where your downloaded firmware that you just made using Ponage Tool has, was located and you're going to want to click that and hit enter and it's going to start restoring. Once it starts restoring guys, sit back and let iTunes do the rest. And that's it. Once it is done, your iPhone or iPod Touch will be completely jailbroken on iOS 4. Some of the apps aren't supported yet, guys, but you can look that up on Google. Like, all of them are, they're updating the apps slowly now because iOS 4 is released and they were made for 3.0 and 3.1.3. So, overall, guys, that's how you jailbreak it. 
Also, as you can read in the article, it says how to unlock the iPhone on 4.0. Um, this will teach you how to unlock it. Just visit the guide again, which is in the description, and it will teach you how to unlock it. Um, also, all of the downloads are in this link as well, so in case the download that I post doesn't work, you can check the website. And overall, guys, thanks for watching. If this helped you out in any way, and if you enjoyed this, please just click the subscribe button above the video. I greatly appreciate it. Again, if you're on, if you were on an unsupported device like I am, stay tuned as I will have a video on those devices as well soon. Also, if you're on Windows, stay tuned as well because I will have a video in the future on how to jailbreak this on Windows, which will be released soon. Again, please subscribe and thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next vid, guys. Peace out.